So what's going on guys, it is JM, it is Speedboxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of the videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So I'm going to make a prediction now for the Sol Canelo Alvarez Gennady Golovkin fight this Saturday night. And we've been waiting for this fight for so long now. Boxing fans have been waiting for this fight for what, going on two years. Like we thought this fight weren't going to happen. We thought that Canelo was just going to sidetrack, sidetrack Golovkin. And eventually someone else would get to Golovkin and the fight wouldn't be made. Like that nearly happened in Golovkin's last fight against Daniel Jacobs. Like Jacobs was unlucky not to get the decision in that fight. But obviously this fight is now set up with Canelo because I think they know now that this fight needs to happen. They think that Golovkin's on the slide. Canelo's team think that. I personally think they think that. So... Yeah, this is a very interesting fight on Saturday night and a fight I've been looking forward to ever since it was announced in May. Like this has been a long build up this fight, like it's gone past it's gone by quite quick actually, in my opinion. Like the Chavez fight, what was that? May the sixth? Yeah, it was like May the sixth, weren't it? So yeah, it's been four months, like the four months have flew by, in my opinion. But it's gonna be a very, very good fight on Saturday night. Anyway, Let's talk about the fight, right? Gennady Golovkin, you know what you're going to get with Gennady Golovkin. He's a guy, very heavy-handed fighter, excellent balance, um, a very, very masterful pressure fighter, master of cutting off the ring. And it'll be interesting to see if he'll go in there and just put it on Canelo or if he'll step back and try and use his jab like he did against David Lemieux and um, Daniel Jacobs because... Golovkin's got a very, very good jab. Like, he's a very hard, solid, powerful jab that tends to break down opponents. Like, we saw it when he fought um, Lemieux. He just totally broke Lemieux down. But Lemieux isn't the most technically gifted boxer out there, whereas Canelo has definitely refined his game, his technical ability. He is a very good combination puncher. He's got very fast hands, Canelo Alvarez. His footwork's always been a bit iffy. He hasn't particularly got very fast feet. Sometimes... He can get a bit lazy and take um, breaks in the middle of the rounds. And he can't do that against Gennady Golovkin. He cannot do that at all. He needs to be on it for however long this fight lasts on Saturday night. Because if not, then Gennady Golovkin is going to notice that. He's a very, very experienced fighter. If you take any breaks, make any mistakes against Gennady Golovkin, he will capitalise on it. And he will look to take you out. So Canelo Alvarez really needs to think about what he's doing in every round on um, Saturday night. Every second of every round so yeah i think the combination punches if canelo can land because it's not particularly hard to land on gennady golovkin he is not an elusive fighter at all gennady golovkin you can tag him because he is confident in his ability to take a punch gennady golovkin he shows so far that he has an eye and chin everyone who's fought him before have landed clean shots right on the button and he hasn't moved gennady golovkin he's hardly blinked so it'll be very interesting to see if Canelo Alvarez can get Gennady Golovkin's respect. Because Canelo has very footing powerful shots when he throws them in combinations. And I do think Canelo is a decent puncher. Like He isn't a super massive puncher in there, Canelo Alvarez. I don't think. I think he has more break you down power. But it'll be interesting to see if Gennady Golovkin will give Canelo that respect in the punch power department. And... Canelo is more of an explosive fighter than Golovkin. Golovkin's more calculated in what he does in getting you out of there. Whereas Canelo is very explosive. He can land one punch. We've seen it before in the Amir Khan fight, in the James Kirkland, Carlos Baldemir fights. We've seen it before with Canelo that he can be very explosive. So it'll be interesting. I think, right, I'm going to make the prediction that Canelo Alvarez will win this fight in a very close fight in a somewhat controversial manner. Like, I don't think Gennady Golovkin will be able to knock Canelo Alvarez because a lot of people are saying Golovkin will knock Canelo out. It's very easy to say that because Golovkin has got very good power and he's knocked out every opponent in his last 24 fights except for Danny Jacobs. But I haven't seen anything from Canelo to make me think that Canelo can't take Golovkin's punches. Like, Canelo, to me, has never looked like he's had a suspect chin. He's been in there with big punches like James Kirkland and Angulo and Miguel Cotto, and he stood up to the power very well in there. He took clean shots, and he came back with his own shot. So I think if um, 
Canelo can take the punches against um, Golovkin, then he's got a very good chance of winning this fight, and I'll be predicting Canelo to win the fight. Actually, I am making the prediction that Canelo will win the fight by a close 12-round decision. And, yeah, it's a very interesting fight. I think if anything's going to get to Canelo, it's going to be the pressure more than the power. Because when a guy's constantly on you for 12 rounds, well, however long the fight is, constantly on you, not giving you a break in there at all. Because we've seen before that Canelo does like a break in there at times. So if Golovkin's on him constantly, that could have a mental effect on Canelo Alvarez. It could mentally fatigue him, the fact that Golovkin's on him for, for constantly. So, yeah, it's very interesting. I think Canelo does need to land shots on Golovkin and somewhat try and get his respect, hurt him maybe, buzz him, just so he doesn't have that constant pressure. Because if he can't hurt Golovkin, then I think will not hurt him. If he can't get Golovkin's respect in there, then I think he's going to have a very, very hard night's work. But I'm predicting that Canelo Alvarez has managed to refine his game um, well enough to be able to um, withstand the pressure for 12 rounds. And I'm going to pick Canelo to win the fight by a 12 round unanimous decision. A close one, a controversial one in some people's eyes, I think. So, yeah, this is what I'm thinking on Saturday night. So, yeah, that's my prediction. It's JM, it's beatboxing.